Women in California breathed a sigh of relief when this mass murderer was caught. But now in a bizarre twist, many are begging for his attention and his affection. Mike Watkins has the story of the death row Romeo. Somebody was calling and she was giving me death threats and saying, you know, you're going to die. And you Why? Because stay you're away a friend Richard. of Richard? I suppose so. And you better stay away from Richard and blah, 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 blah. If I wanted to have attacked her or beat her up, I would have, and I could, but I didn't, and I won't. So she's just making that up. She's exaggerating everything. A startling phenomenon has developed at the San Francisco County Jail. At the center of the storm, one of the most loathsome bits of human scum ever to stain the pages of American criminal history. His name is Richard Ramirez. California's most cowardly mass killer, a devil known as the Night Stalker. I find Richard uh, to have a lot of charisma in a very natural way. There's nothing phony about him. And it's, it's interesting that just his picture in the paper, people seeing him on television walking out of a courtroom or into court, uh, seems to attract s some people. Well, I have seen women go there to see him, you know, dressed in black lace stockings. When you hear about people, women fighting each other physically, uh, are getting in some type of altercation over a visit with someone who's sitting in jail and is totally oblivious yeah. and is not even aware it's going on. I like him. I mean, he's, you know, I mean, he's not, when I went in to visit him, I decided that I was not going to um, look at all the things he had done. Yet for those familiar with the history of Richard Ramirez, it's impossible to forget what he's done. In the sweltering spring and summer of 1985, this West Texas drifter descended on the California coastline like a deadly disease. For months, under the cloak of darkness, he slipped through windows. He raped, mutilated, murdered. His modus operandi was usually the same. First, he would shoot any men in the house while they lay sleeping in their beds. Then he would rape and murder the women, raping even the children. Lock your doors, lock your windows, if you have the ability to provide additional security devices, then by all means do so. Let's get everyone mobilized together in, for self-defense in this valley. Who wants to be next? I don't. No one else does. Yet despite the reign of terror, there were those who found this miserable coward irresistible. During his long trial in Los Angeles, Ramirez groupies flocked to the courthouse. And frequently, the killer would put on quite a show. I won't, even, I won't come back in here again. You understand that? This trial is a joke. But despite the theatrics, Richard Ramirez was ultimately convicted and sentenced to die. We, the jury in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Richard Ramirez, guilty of murder. And today, six years after his arrest, Richard Ramirez sits in the San Francisco County Jail awaiting trial for yet another killing. But despite the long incarceration, his so-called charisma seems undiminished. As a small army of women continues to flock to the killer, and apparently at least two of his female followers are now locked in an ongoing and at times violent battle with one another at the San Francisco jailhouse. One is a small-time porno model named Kelly Marquez. The other, Christine Lee. Both have provocative photographs of themselves floating around the jailhouse. Both have reportedly caused violent disturbances. Marquez even went so far as to recently try to get a local judge to issue a restraining order against Christine Lee. The judge, however, said she found both women less than credible and threw them out of court. You're not a groupie of Richard Ramirez? No. But you are his friend? Yeah. She hates me for some reason. She started calling me on the phone. I didn't start calling her, giving her death threats. Can you see why anyone may think you're a little obsessive with Richard? No, I don't. Are you obsessive with Richard? No. Would you ever hurt her? No. You wouldn't? Mm-mm. You've never threatened her? Mm-mm. This phenomenon at the San Francisco Hall of Justice is certainly not new. Hardened criminals locked behind bars have long been attracting the attention, the affection, even the obsession of people on the outside. But this 
is a story of extremes. I am doing research to produce a documentary on the death penalty. I just wish the woman would leave me alone. I mean, to call my house, give me 20 death threats in one night, her and some friend of hers, and then to even go as far as to say that maybe I'll have to shoot the president to show him how much I love him. She told the Secret Service she wanted to marry him and have a baby with him. Did you ask him that? That she loved him. That's what she kept saying to them. I love him, I love him. That's what she kept saying. I talked to the Secret Service and they didn't want to talk about this at all. They don't want to talk about you. Mm. They don't want to talk about her. Evidently, one of you or somebody made some kind of threat against the life of the President of the United States. Is no that one, true? No, no one did. Did she do that? Did she make that up? She did made the whole thing up. But you won't tell us what you do with Richard Ramirez, what your relationship's all about. I can't talk about that. That's... And there are other well, the murder cases I've handled. Uh, it, this is a first uh, as far as having a juror come forward. And with so many women now coming forward, one can only wonder why, and wonder what further evil may lurk in the saga of the Night Stalker. Richard Ramirez is currently awaiting trial on his 14th murder. Meanwhile, his visitation rights have been revoked until October 